Oh, Bohemians are strong, man. Lithuanian Bohemians, okay. Yeah, I think Bohemians are really good at the counter captives, so Lithuanian, I might have to play a bit more heavy skirms here, because they have really good answers to uh, the cavalry. Temperature crossbows. In castle, and then just transitions to really, really, really good halbs. Uh, I think their halbs are actually on par with like Japanese halbs. I would like to see a spear of the law video comparing those, to be honest. Uh, if I can make a humble request here. <laughs> I don't know if Spear of Luck consistently watches the stream. I know he told me he'd keep it on in the background sometimes, but I'd like to see a Bohemian's Halb versus Samurai. Uh, yo, T3, thanks for the tier one for three months, and thank you, CRR, for the Prime sub. Appreciate that, man. He did, Jabster was still better. Oh, he did do one. Oh, okay, nice. Sick, I must have missed it then. Japanese are still better, okay, cool. That's a pretty good guide for me then. Um, but nonetheless, I, I don't think you still want to be running in Cavalier into Bohemian Halps, that's for sure. But at least their Halps are only better against Cavalry, not against standard units. The Lithuanians without the final attack upgrade, just feel so sad, so depressed about that change. Yeah, but it's a buff, uh, sorry, it's a nerf. Like in general, but uh, like the wing hussars are still a buff compared to the other hussar because the extra melee armor. So it's still, still, it's good in a way, honestly. It just it nerfs the paladin a bit, but it gives their uh, the hussar and light is um, more more spark, I guess. And paladin can still be a good unit in certain cases, like team game. I think that's how it should be. Why is that infamous? Because he does stupid shit? Uh, not really. It's actually, it has nothing to do with that, if you really think about it. He's only... He's, I wouldn't say he's infamous. I'd say he's famous because he's uh, one of the longest players that's been around. Um, or the guy who's played the game the longest and consistently at the top level. He, he's adapted through tons and tons of meta. That deserves a lot of respect, in my opinion. So, he does get memed a lot these days, like Doubt Castle and stuff. And he's got, he's got like a fun personality. Uncomfortable. But... Uh, didn't mean to. But uh, generally speaking, he's uh, yeah. Generally speaking, he's he's pretty well respected. I think to the people who who actually know what he's about. I know I respect him. That's for sure. I, I can see through the gimmicks for sure. Uh, you may be uncomfortable, Paley. Uh, I, I don't remember you making me uncomfortable, man. But well, thank you nonetheless for the sub. Is that still a top ten player? Yeah, I, I actually say he's top five right now, honestly. Because I think he's smart, I think he's actually very, very solid mechanically and, and has really good uh, strategy that he brings to the table. And he, bar he barely gets nervous or anything like that, so he's always going to bring in like top level pretty much. That's the thing about doubt. Um, you could, it's subjective, so you could say he's not top, top 5, but for me he's the 5th best player right now. Maybe top 3 with yourself and Viper? I would say so, yeah. In any order, uh, I don't care what order, I put Viper first. Um, then me second random map, Leary first in Empire War, me second Empire War, and Swipe third Empire War, probably. Or maybe even Mr. Yo up there for Empire War. But a Jordan Empire War? Uh, I, I think Jordan is probably top 8 in both random map and Empire War. I think he's gonna be a pretty. I think you have to keep an eye on him for the uh, for the LAN events. I think he's going to be super motivated. I'm going to go scouts, by the way. Just go 18 pop scouts. I think he's going to be super motivated. Um, and uh, you know, it's time to keep an eye, eye out on him for sure. I still haven't even taken my second board, by the way. And he, uh, the thing about Jordan is that he always plays consistent as well. Like, I remember in Hidden Cup, there wasn't a game where I was like, oh, he, he made a big mistake, or he's just playing poorly here. There wasn't a single game where I'm like, you know, this is uh, this is going to be a pretty free one for me. A every single game felt difficult, even the one that I was, like, uh, winning quite comfortably. Like, for example, the Arabia game. I think I had, like, the right sieve to counter the Aztecs. Played, like, a solid game. He still managed to make it very difficult. I'm gonna do one lumber camp only. I have a lot of hunts. He's doing a lot of deer. Yeah, I think Bohemians can Loki be a counter to um, to Mezzosips. I think the game needed a counter to Mezzosips. And Bohemians fill that role pretty nicely as well. 
I think the only thing is that they kind of died to Eagles late game though, honestly. They don't really have anything versus Eagles late game. Maybe champions, I guess, but yeah, even that's a bit sus. I might get trapped here. I'm not careful. Alright. Alright, I got a scout, which is very nice. I have only one lumber camp. I don't know if I'll change that eventually, but I'll just go for a very fast scout rush and then adapt from there. Good woodlands. Yeah, runestones is just a better map than Arabia, honestly. They, they, they should just take this generation and make it Arabia, honestly. One lumber camp build is simply just to uh, get some more scouts out faster. I don't know if I like this build, generally speaking. But it seemed like a good good time to pull it off. Uh, he's full walling though. And this is the reason I don't like the builds, because you end up investing into quicker pressure and then your opponent just uh, just walls up and it it kinda falls flat. But we'll see, we'll see what I can do here. Walls on that side. He made some militia, he's still dark. He's got something back there. I guess he's just FC. I'll make one more militia at home. I remember scout, sorry. Yeah, he's just FC. And I'll probably just go scrims to defend this. Straight up scrims. After the scouts. It seems like a pretty good move here. And then I just try to pick up some relics in the mid game. Um, Alright, so whenever your opponent full walls, just cut the map with your excess scouts. I have to use a couple to defend here though. Good, good little dance from him for sure. Got the rest of the map. And that's the advantage I get for playing scouts. I get to see the whole map. He gets the fast castle, and we play from there. Um, I guess here is fine. He can go chemistry from the start, or he can just choose to boom. Nonetheless, I think I my strategy should be just the same. here. Continue scouting the map. Scouting the map is great. It lets me see the relics, which is exactly what I wanna what I wanna know right now. Where I can find relics in mid-game, because obviously Lithuanian's late game depends heavily on relics for their A for gold and B for their attack on the knights or lightest. Basically forces my opponent to go halves. Now, instead of having gold, I'm going to make another Lumber Camp. Mm. 
I'm gonna make a one range transition as well. That place should just have a house because that's very dangerous. <clears throat> he doesn't necessarily have to make crossbows, by the way. It's just the most natural. And now I see the range, so now I know. He could have went knights and just like tried to bait me into going scrims, but oh, he's going three range. Oh, he... wait, what? He might be doing CA here. This is dangerous. So what I have to do is actually house well everything. He's going CA. He's going chemistry CA. Bohemians don't get cavatures? Okay, sorry, so it's hand cannon then probably. My bad. <laughs> Oops. They don't get any CA? Really? Oh, true. I remember reading about that, yeah. Probably hand cannons then for him. Out of stone wall the sides. It's the same story, though. Same story. There's gonna be some powerful attacks, so I have to make sure my defense is good. What tips you off CA? Uh, well, okay, hold on. So I, I was wrong, though. I thought CA because I saw three ranges and no production. But now it's gonna be hand cannon. He's gonna get chemistry and go hand cannon right away. Uh, which I'm fine with. The scrims will be great defense for stats. I'm gonna just go two ranges here because I need to match his... Uh, I need to match his numbers most likely. So when I see three range and I don't see any production, that's when I know it's something weird. Uh, normally, with normal says that's CA, with Bohemians it means hand cannons and castle. That probably want, no, wanted to go CA and he didn't know either. That would be hilarious if that was the case. I would not doubt it. He's got a C trap as well, so I'm gonna have to micro a lot of scrims here. He's gonna go for a huge push. He's gonna go Drift of C, hand cannon, and yeah, there it is, the university. He's gonna go for a big push. I'm gonna need to micro my ass off pretty much. That's the whole. That's gonna be the whole game for me. It's just how how well I can actually micro um, versus versus the pressure that's gonna be, com that's gonna be coming in. <clears throat> he won't be able to afford it. Oh, uh, I think he will, man. I think their economy is insane. I think he will be able to afford hand cannon and mangano. Yep, there it is, 3 range. I agree with you, I don't think it should work, but... You will be able to afford it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to really micro my ass off here. Uh, probably ballistics would be very, very much needed. One for one is great. These units are more expensive. Lithuanians are one of the better stuffs to defend against this. They've got fast moving scrim, so that's very good. I'll slowly ch chip away at those guys. me there.
Uh, there's a lot of micro, micro fights. I think I still think I'm coming up on top though. These kind of hits are great. Big push coming in, and Bohemians are kind of OP economically, so it's very, very risky situation here for me. I need to mine some more of that. Just need more production here. I have a lot on those guys. A lot on stone. Some walls ended up being useless, but hard. Like it's easy to say they're useless now, but if you had come from there from before, I would have been like, man, I should have stone walled. So I'm still happy I made them. They didn't cost me too much, just like a hundred stone. It's fine. I have to really be careful with the hand cannons. Like I can't let them get close at all to the mangoes. So I, I can only attack ground pretty much. reasonable trade for me. Delete. Hand cannons are great versus the siege for sure. Uh, you got a really good shot there. Score is looking very much in my favor though. The thing about the hand cannon that's hard to deal with here is that they actually do pretty well against skirmish. Like they do a lot of damage. Had I not been Lithuanians, this could be a really strong push from him. 
And they would do really well against knights as well. So that feels like a pretty good push from him, to be honest. I want to I wanna give it a go eventually as well. It's not easy to defend this. I think you might need like a unique unit or something like that. Something special to defend that. I mean, regular scrims with good micro should still be fine, but... This has been made easier because of the Lithuanian speed bonus. He probably resigned soon, unless he'll just go for another all-in play. I can ch I can chase him down here. He's got a castle here to secure so much on that side. I'll, I'll opt to chase down those guys. Oh, castle forward. Okay. What a way to end off a, a typical doubt game. Alright, I wanted to see the castle. Okay, now we make it a typical Hera game. I'm gonna go Hussar. But GG's called. He was already setting the economy. That was a, that was a pretty tough push though. <laughs> uh, he's he's got he's he's frustrated from that one. He's frustrated. I've been there before. I've been there before. I know how it goes. It's so satisfying to kill your kill your base after everything goes wrong. Yeah, two YouTube games back to back, man. This was a killer game. Um his strategy was pretty strong though, honestly. Had I not got like fast moving scrims, it would be harder to defend. How much fast are they moving? 10%. I mean, I could probably still defend with regular scrims though, because other sips have other bonuses. But it's not easy, like, th this strategy could be really strong, honestly. But I think you need scrims or crossbows, to be honest. Maybe, maybe even crossbows are better though. Yeah, maybe crossbows are better, because uh, the thing is, hand cannons do really well against scrims anyways. I think crossbows are probably better. I think what I would do versus the strategy is like play expo with a good eco or if I have like good scrims I'll go scrims.